Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk all about a multiplication strategy called partial products and I think it's really going to help you out. So let's dig in. Alright, so the first problem we're going to work on is a four digit number times a one digit number. I like to kind of start easy before I get up to the two by two digit numbers. Those are a little more complicated. So let's start with this one. And I'd like to try 1,742 times 8. So let's work it out together. So the first thing you want to do when you do partial products is to think about the place value of every digit and how much it's worth. What is, it, what is its value? So for example, on this one, what is that 1 really worth? Okay, you got it, 1,000, since it's in the thousands place. We're going to write all of these down as we go. Uh, now let's do the 7. What is the 7 really worth? Okay, awesome, 700. What is the 4 really worth? It's in the tens place. You got it, so it's worth 40. And then what about that 2? Just 2. Okay, now when we multiply a number by eight, we're really multiplying all those different values times eight. So we're gonna do one, 1,000 times eight, 700 times eight, 40 times eight, two times eight. And so now let's work out all of those problems. So what do you think about 1,000 times eight? You can think about 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and you'll start noticing a pattern there. So you got it, 8,000. Then the next one's a little more challenging, so 700 times eight. You could be thinking about, you know, counting by 700s or counting by sevens, uh, or the shortcut is a mental math strategy that I really like, and it's where you do 7 times 8. So what is 7 times 8? You do that first. Okay, awesome. 56. And then you count the zeros in the problem. So I see two zeros. I'm going to put two zeros in my answer or my product there. Okay, so 5,600 is the answer to that one. And now let's get the next part of the answer. So what is four times eight? We can do that stra strategy again. Okay, awesome, 32. And then there's just one zero. So I'm gonna stick one zero in my answer. So 320. Then the last one is two times eight. What is two times eight? Okay, awesome, 16. And there's no zeros in those two factors that we're multiplying, so we're not going to put a zero in our product. Okay, and the reason why this is called partial products is, as you can see, we have a lot of different parts of the answer written down. We have four different parts. So what do you think we should do to find the total answer? Awesome, we're going to add those amounts up. Okay, so add them up with me and let's see what we get. All right, awesome. 13,936. Great job. All right, so here's one that I want you to try. Um, this is 3,915 times 6. So I want you to try writing out the digits based on its place value or value, write all of those down, and try multiplying them all by six. And then we'll get back together and check your work. Thank you. 
All right. Did you get the same thing as me? You can check each of your partial products to see if you made a mistake somewhere or also to see which parts you got right and then check our totals out and see if they match. All right, great job. All right, now we're gonna try a two digit times two digit number. So 38 times 25. And we can solve this the same way. It's gonna be a little bit more challenging, but we can still use the place value and what a digit is worth to help us make this a little bit easier. So break it up into chunks that are easier to work on with mental math. So let's just take a look at 38 times five first. So let's just kind of break it up into different pieces. So we're gonna focus on the three. How much is the three worth? awesome 30 so we're going to be doing 30 times 5 and we're going to be working with that 8 so what is that 8 really worth you got it just 8 it's in the ones place so we're going to be doing 8 times 5 so let's solve those first so what is 3 times 5 on that first problem you got it 15 and how many zeros are in my two factors? Awesome, just one. So we're gonna put just one on the end of the answer. So 150. And then what is, I like the next one, it's just a basic fact. What is eight times five? You got it, 40. So I'll write that partial product down too. But we better not add those up just yet because we also have to think about the two in 25, what is that really worth? Okay, you got it, it's 20. So we're gonna be doing both of the digits in 38 times 20 now. So we have two more partial products we need to figure out. So we're gonna be doing 30 times 20 next. And then we're gonna be doing that eight times 20. So let's get those both figured out. So for 30 times 20, I'm gonna use that mental math strategy that I love. So let's do three times two. You got it, that's six. And then how many zeros do, can you count in the two factors? Okay, awesome, there's two. And so we're gonna stick two at the end of our answer. So now it looks like 600. All right, then let's do that last one. What is eight times two? Okay, awesome, 16. And then how many zeros are in my factors? Just that one, so I'm gonna put one over in my answer and I have 160. All right, now that I've got all of my partial products written down, I'm going to do just like I did on the last problems and add up all of those numbers. So let's add them together, see what we get. All right, I'm getting 950. So that means the answer to 38 times 25 is 950. Great job. All right, so I have one more problem for you to try on your own. It's 41 times 37, and I want you to try that same partial product strategy. So we're gonna write all of the different parts using their place value, so it makes it a little easier, and then solve each one, add them up at the end, and we can see if we get the same answer. All right, pause the video and give it a try. All right, how did you do on that one? Here's my work. 
you can check and see which parts you got correct and which parts you might need a little more help on. And you can always uh, take a look at my work or rewind the video a little bit and watch that strategy one more time. All right, great job. All right, thanks for watching today. I hope this helps you in your class or at home, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.